Ted is VPTM in his LC. Last semester, he recruited 80 members. Over the course of the last five months, some of them joined teams. Some of them took leadership opportunities. Some of them went off exchange and some of them disappeared. Recruitment time comes again. Ted doesn't know how many people in leadership roles he has, nor how many members who were in leadership roles before could now go on exchange. He thinks to himself, if I can't measure it, I can't manage it. Ted is sad because his LC is not achieving the goals. But things changed when he met Robin. Robin is the VPTM of another LC. She's very happy because she knows that in myisic.net we have talent management features for retention rate, leadership role and members with past leadership experience. Ted thinks, can I use these tools too? Retention rates. This feature will enable you to calculate the retention rate for a six-month period. This works for members in the introduction to ISAC and taking responsibility stage. Let's have a look. The retention rate is calculated for a six-month period. For example, if I want to know what my retention rate is today and we recruited 80 people six months ago and eight have left ISAC since, our retention rate today is 90%. You can also find out this number on myisec.net. When you go to statistics and select talent management, you see action on the right. Click retention rate and choose your local committee. When you select I2A, you can see the result. It's important to know that on myisec.net, the retention rate of members in the introduction to ISEC stage refers to people who joined ISEC six months ago and then moved taking responsibility, leadership, heading for the future or exchange stage and also logged into myisec.net at least once in the past three months. You can also see the retention rate of members who take responsibility. On myisec.net this refers to members who were in the taking responsibility stage six months ago, then went on exchange, took a leadership role headed for the future or stayed in the taking responsibility stage and have also logged into myisec.net at least once in the past three months. This number tells you how satisfied your members are and lets you plan your actions accordingly. Leadership role. You can check how many of your members are starting and finishing their leadership roles every month. Let's have a look. Ted is using his own tool to track how many members have completed a leadership role. One day he wants to know how many people are starting and finishing their leadership roles every month since 2008. So he writes to the previous EB, talks to his LCP and checks his own tracking tool. But he realizes that he can't find everything he needs. Life is so hard, but with myisec.net all this is not needed anymore. Just go to statistics, select talent management and under actions select the leadership role to see the numbers. If you want to see the leaders not only of the committee you select but also of the entities under it, click all. For example, when you tick all when you select your MC, the result you get includes the leadership roles on the MC and all your LCs. Having a leadership role in myisec.net means that you are on leadership role stage and you have the EB or team leader role assigned. The duration of all leadership roles should be at least two months. The leadership role feature will enable you to drive specific initiatives for specific groups. For example, organizing trainings for all the new leaders to ensure capacity building, but also to target specific opportunities to leaders finishing their role such as heading for the future or exchange after leadership. Members with past leadership experience. You may wonder how many members in your LC had a leadership experience and what they are doing now. On myisec.net you can track the movement of your leaders. Under talent management, click on action on the right, then go to members with past leadership experience, select the entity you need and you will see the table. So what do the numbers in this table mean? Let's think about a leader and leadership stage. After he finishes his leadership experience and isn't assigned a new role, he will automatically be moved to taking responsibility stage. In the table, you can see him counted in the taking responsibility line. If he was assigned another leadership role after he finished his previous one, he will be counted in the line of leadership role in the table. 
If he went on exchange after his leadership role, he will be counted in the line of exchange. If he went to heading for the future after he finished his leadership role, he will be counted in the line of heading for the future. This gives you a clear idea about the Isaac experience of your leaders. Now Ted is happy. He can measure members with past leadership experience, number of leaders and the retention rate. He knows his LC can achieve its goals. If you want to know more, just go to myisaac.net and check the education wiki. The new features on myisaac.net make our work a lot more strategic and smart. You can now count how many members you have, how many leaders you have, and how they move through the ISAC experience. It helps you understand your retention rate, plan your exchange and leadership pipelines better, understand when people start their leadership role, when do they finish it. All of this leads to effective decision making, smarter analysis, and we stay ahead with the trends. Instead of spending your time tracking your members and your leaders and the retention rate, now you can focus on other activities while the system generates all this data for you. So Generation 2010, we hope you enjoy the new features and live up your experience.